All right, today we're gonna to be going over three UI component libraries. Similar to how Shad CN is, they're built on top of Radix primitives. So if you're building any modern, animated, and highly customizable web apps or landing pages, these libraries might be perfect for you. All right, so the first library we're gonna go over is Cult UI. It's similar to Shad CN, but it's a lot more animated and has more things that you can do with it. The installation process is very similar to how you would install with Shad CN. And all this is free, but the templates you have to pay for. So like this one, they have an animated number and you can adjust like the stiffness, the damping, all that stuff. And then if you hit the callback, you'll see this toast pop up. I believe that's the sonar. The dynamic island is similar to how iOS has on the iPhone. And all the code for these are over here and the installation is very simple. Just copy the components and you paste them in your project. So like you can see it has really nice animations and stuff, very clean and crisp. So you can just pull them into your project and edit them the exact way you want to. All right, so what we need to do is we need to create a next app. So we'll use TypeScript just because it's easier with all the other components to install them. All right, so then you're initialize Shad CN. And you'll see the components.json. It'll update the Tailwind, and then it will also create this file for us. Okay, so we need to install these five components, the button, the badge, the avatar, the tooltip, and the sonar. And you can see they've been added in here now. And then we just need to create a new file called expandable. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna scroll down, we'll go to the manual installation, we'll click copy, and then we'll paste this inside of our project. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste this in. Okay, so we also need to copy the code for our component. So we'll copy this over and then we're just gonna create a file called cult.tsx and then we'll add this in there. Okay, so in the cult.tsx file, we're just gonna paste this in and you'll see up here that we use the avatar, the badge, the button, and the tooltip. And then we pull in the expandable as well. And then we're using these icons and the toes from Sonar. And in the expandable file, there's a module that's missing. It's the react use measure. So we need to install that. So that way it will run properly. Okay, so you need to go over the page.tsx and then we need to add in the card component. Okay, and now that we can go over to the local host and we can see, and now the component is installed. So now these are fully customizable. You can customize them any way you want. You can change how the animation works, the easing, all that stuff to make it better. So let's jump into the next component library. Okay, so the next one that we're going to be getting into is Magic UI. They offer free and paid components, and I'm going to show you guys both of them. And then their templates as well are on the paid plan. So this is the marquee. If you hover over, it pauses. They have some cool things like code comparison, file trees, as well as device mockups. This one right here is one of my favorite ones. It's the animated beams. And these are all free as well. So you can just copy these and paste them into your project. And they have a CLI, so we can also add them through the CLI as well. So we're gonna install the animated beam. You just have to run MPX at ShadCN latest, add, and then this link right here to the animated beam. And then we can see it's been added in here now. And there's nothing else that we need to install for this one. So this is the component that we're gonna use. We're just gonna copy the code over and then we'll bring it into that component. Okay, so we created a file called magic UI. We'll just paste this in there. Change this, we'll go back over to the page.tsx. Okay, so now that we have it installed in the project, we can see it working and you can customize this however you want. You can change the icons, you can change the beam color, the speed, all that stuff. 
Okay, so this is the Pro. So I want to show you guys some of the templates that they have. This is the SaaS template. They just created this mobile template. And if you're on the Pro plan, you can use any of these. And we'll go back and I'll show you guys some of these components that they have. So some headers. It's got the nice blur on top. The feature scroll section. Okay, and the last one we're gonna go over today is Aeternity UI. And they offer free and paid components as well, as well as some templates. Okay, so they have a CLI as well. They have their own CLI, so we can install this in our project and initialize it. Okay, so they have a bunch of components on here. We'll look at some of these, like the MacBook scroll, takes the screen off as you scroll down. These background beams explode at the bottom. And all these are fully customizable, so really good for your landing pages. We'll make them look 10 times better without having to put as much work in to create all of these. Bento grids, various cards as well. All right, so what you're gonna do is copy this code We'll go back over to our Ace Eternity file. We'll paste this in. So we'll come over here. We'll add in the animated model. All right, you're going to need to go over to your next config. You need to add in the images.unsplash.com to this right here. Okay, so as you can see, when we hover over the button, it does the little animation. And then when we click on it, we can see the nice animated model pop up. So it has that nice clean animation. All right, y'all drop a comment below and let me know which library you guys like the most or which one you guys are already using in your projects. And if you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.